What is up, what is up, what is up YouTube? It is your boy Diamonds here at Common Sense Graphics. Today in this video, I'm gonna be uh, talking about how to create like a monster of some sort. In this situation, I'm gonna be freehanding a mimic, and uh, this will be a good basis on how to draw pretty much anything to get your freehand skills up. But um, pretty much like I always do, let's get right into it. Uh, you need to first start off with your bases. I always put a bottom line and a top line depending what I'm gonna be creating as my foreground, background and it's just will be it will just be there for me as my guides and i recommend you always make guides and um just begin the sketching process uh since you know mimics are usually traditionally like chests and stuff i'm gonna make mine kind of like a sunken skull style pirate ship style chest and um it's very simple pretty much you know um this isn't gonna be any type of realism it's gonna be more kind of a cartoony type of thing I'm gonna have uh, maybe like eyes protruding out, I'm gonna make it be kind of uh, big and bulky and pretty much um, just sketch it out, you know, rough sketch it out. Uh, making the initial boxes first just to show the initial outline before I start adding the other details. For example, the circles here are gonna be like the place footers for the feet of the chest. And so, you know, it's just a good placeholder for the time being. And uh, once I get back to that area, I can uh, start improving them. As you see, I'm doing right here. Now I'm working on the actual feet once I figured out where the placeholder is. And um, pretty much just really just rough sketch it out. I'm using Adobe Illustrator. It's my software to use. And so it's a bit different than Adobe Photoshop when it comes to sketching out your process. Um, and uh, yeah, like I said, just really just uh, rough sketch it out. That's probably the one of the best ways how to improve your freehanding is realistically just by sketching and sketching and sketching and sketching and also having a good reference on the side of something like let's say you want to draw people you really are interested in people just start off by having an image of a person on the side this is what i learned back in my college days when i was taking figure drawing classes um, i gradually seen my improvement as i went to class um, on the days i had to go to class and pretty much it's practice makes perfect the more you do it the better you become um, that's pretty much it uh, design your own techniques your own methods of doing things figuring out how to make things function your way and eventually you will be quite a master at your own design and like I said it's really just rough sketch things out because you can always make an easy quick change on the fly illustrator is very simple when it comes to making changes because all you gotta do is just select the lines and then just delete them and you can move them around really simply really easy without um, being very destructive to the canvas and so just like I said again really just rough sketch it after you finish making your rough outline you can start going into the second lighting phase when you're freehanding and that is pretty much just adding more detail into the image and deleting the background lines the, the rough, first set of lines that you put down and uh, pretty much that's it just really just have a lot of fun um, with the Mimic, I was uh, looking on the monthly calendar to um, draw something for the month, and it said, uh, I believe for the day of this, it was like a uh, household item that's a monster, something like that. And I was thinking, okay, I got an ottoman. And what's an ottoman to me? An ottoman, my ottoman flips open like a chest. So I was like, okay, I'll draw a Mimic. How about that? And I added a pirate twist to it, gave it some arms, and um, that was pretty much it. It really really looked good at the end at the end product and I was really happy with what I had and uh, pretty much yeah really just rough sketch out what you got and just have a lot of fun I cannot say that enough have fun with your image and just rough sketch it out because if you are trying to jump into the finalization ahead of time then you could become frustrated and yeah, um, yeah. side note the hardest part of this entire drawing for me was the teeth oh my god the teeth hurt me so badly. I had to stop drawing for a little while because it was hurting my eyes. I turned the screen brightness on my computer screen down because it was killing me. And it took me forever to draw the teeth. Like the teeth by itself was almost an hour's worth of work. And I felt really dumb because I found out it was the easier way how I could have the teeth. And it just, uh, I could have sped things along real quickly. But I was not playing it smart. I was trying to be more in depth with detail than anything else and uh yeah but um that's pretty much the end of this video i'm about to start the finalization process i hope you guys enjoyed it it's your boy Domus here at common sense graphics hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video your boy out